this week's episode, we're talking about keeping the fire lit, having plans to pivot always, and lessons learned from Geocache, a mobile app that I initially tried to do prior to Word Up. So for the first small business tip, keeping your fire lit. Last week's episode, we talked about pivoting, we talked about iteration, we talked about how these things happen constantly and how nothing happens overnight, Rome wasn't built in a day, all that other bullshit. You're gonna have to keep the fire lit. There's gonna be a ridiculous amount of re rejection. The pressure is gonna be there. All these things we've talked about. It's hard to keep your fire lit amongst all of these things. So one thing that I kind of do, which was actually, could have been the third part of the vulnerability principle, was the fact that, let me give you a quick example in terms of how I keep my fire lit. So basically we might be at a club, Mount Adams, over the Rhine, at the banks, wherever the hell it might be. And you know what? I'm gonna go talk to every single badass bitch that's at the club. And 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm probably gonna get rejected. So how does this keep my fire lit? Is I put myself in a vulnerable situation. And once I know what the outcome is gonna be, so I'm most likely gonna get, all right, I'm gonna get rejected. So once that happens, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, you know what? This girl's gonna be super salty in like two years when she sees me on the cover of 40 under 40. And utilizing those tiny grapes, which is actually, tiny grapes is a Kobe Bryant reference. We'll insert the link for that. But utilizing these tiny grapes are essential in an ongoing process. This is not my first year doing business. This is my third year doing business. So throughout that, that journey, there's been a million things that I could have stopped at. What keeps me going is how I keep my fire lit. So, Find out how yours stays lit and constantly keep on doing that. Along with that though, is uh, stay updated with recent news. There's a lot of things that, you know what, that'll motivate you in terms of, oh, this is coming out or I can utilize, drones. Great example, with Zuda Delivery, once this whole hype three months ago about drones, drones coming out and them legalizing the airways and all that, or airspace and all that shit. I was pumped because I was like, you know what, fuck it. We don't got to deal with drivers anymore. I can just fucking put drones at all my Zuda Delivery restaurants, have the restaurant owners go out, lift the drones up, and that's one huge cost eliminated for me. So these type of things help keep the fire lit as well. Figure out what your strategy is and stick to it. Second small business tip, have plans to pivot always. Before I started working on Word Up. I was working on an app that was called geocache, not geocaching where they dig random shit in the ground and go find it on the map or whatever. Geocache in the sense that it was an app where you get on it and you see multiple opportunities in terms of making money when it comes to paid research, donating your blood, um, along with online like uh, polls, online services, along with consolidation of like, uh, money making apps for example there's some apps you watch tv you get paid for it all these things are consolidated onto one platform which we were calling geocache so the whole point of it was once you go out in the world for example there might be a ridiculous amount of research studies paid blood plasma opportunities once you get on this app you can see within one mile of where you're standing all the multiple opportunities that you could benefit from the idea came up because two of my friends were talking about blood plasma and getting paid for it and then it was just an epiphany moment which is because i'm conditionally conscious all the damn time. So keep that in mind, which we talked about previously. However, this uh, app I worked on because I was at a point where I was like, you know what, F it, I can take over the world. I might as well start working on everything I want. I had the me self vision, which is something that you guys will hear about later. It's the emotional intelligence software that I'm working on. However, I decided to do this anyway. I decided to do it and I learned a ridiculous amount of things from it, which is what the third small business tip is about, is lessons learned from geocache. So what I learned from this whole process was one of my friends got into some accelerator where he got $20,000 for working on one of his apps and I had been kind of busting my ass for the past year and well, I was doing Zooted and Limbic at the same time. However, I've had this pretty powerful app idea for a long time and regardless, he got this 20K and a couple weeks prior to it, I actually had a conversation with him and I was like, look man, I might start stop working on geocache and I don't know why I this came up, but it just wasn't seeming like, uh, essentially the biggest problems and the lessons I learned from Geocache was this. 
One, I got an epiphany of a money-making formula, which you'll hear about in the next episode. I'm not gonna talk to you about right now. This money-making formula is specifically relevant to mobile apps and software in general. The second thing that I learned from doing geocache is I had to manually input all these data entries about paid research and blood plasma opportunities. Even when the app got big and had 30,000 whatever users, I would still need to keep on manually doing that until I made partners with like UC Research Center and Hawksworth Blood and all them where I can make their own backend platform so they could enter them themselves. Too much damn work for me to do initially with everything else I have going on, which is uh, kind of part of the money making formula, which we'll talk about in next week's episode. But the lessons learned from that was one, never do a damn app that has anything to do with inputting ridiculous amounts of data. So any ideas that you guys have that are within that realm, knock them out because they're gonna be a pain in the ass and you can do it in an easier way. And then the second lesson that I learned was the epiphany of the money making formula. Not gonna tell you that right now. Gonna have to wait till next week for that. That's all for episode 16 of Swami Says Small Business Tips. On next week's episode, we're gonna be talking about the money making app formula, the story of ROS Intellect, which is the startup that I decided to do when I first initiated Zooted, along with myself. And that's a software that I came up with after we failed at ROS Intellect which is the one that I'm gonna end up executing in the long run, part of my end vision. Important episode next week, so tune in. Swami says, small business tips, three business tips a week will keep your margins deep.